hello students welcome to the session so today my topic is ashtang yoga so as you all know the patanjali marshi had a fourth view regarding the sufferings of the people so 5000 years ago he has been able to understand and give the proper lifestyle through the practicing of ashtanga yoga the ashtanga yoga has been divided into two forms one is ashta that is eight and anga means the limbs so it is totally joining together it is called as the eight limb path which has been the patanjali marshi has been explained the 5000 years ago regarding the complete lifestyle of a human being by his philosophy called as the darshana in the short scripts he has been explained how the systemic changes of a practices for a stimulating the natural capabilities of the inherent within the human nervous system by purification direct realization which leads to the enlightenment so when you think about the enlightenment so it has been observed that severe complications are the chronic diseases where the human being are suffering due to the change in the lifestyle and metabolism so to get back the normal lifestyle or the proper lifestyle so he has been given a checklist assessing the completeness of the literally any spiritual path by practicing the ashtanga yoga virtually the every yoga teacher should teach the practice of ashtanga yoga which is very easy and also it's a logic so very easy to understand and also it is a logic one so it conveys everything in one can do the do in the yoga so automatically it has been explained that the each and every person who is practicing the ashtanga yoga will be representing a complete round map or a blueprint of spiritual checklist of the various methods for the opening of the human nervous system to divine experience so as i told you in the first itself the yoga is reaching from the atma to parmatma so here the atma to parmatma reaching to atma to parmatma is due to eight fold paths so which are those eight fold paths so yama niyama asana pranayama pratyahara dharana dhyana samadhi okay so this he has been explained this he has been explained in the sutras so the sutras are the union of the mantras so where it clearly tells that how the person has to lead his life that means the first and the foremost eight step path of the ashtanga yoga is been explained in the sutra called as yama niyama asana pranayama pratyahara dharana dhyana samadhyo ashtanga vangini that is yama means the ethical or the moral code of conduct niyama means the respect for yourself that is the code of conduct for yourself asana means 
harmony with your body. Pranayama means the breath, control of the harmony with your vital energy. Pratyahara means the harmony with your emotions. Dharana is the harmony with your thoughts. Dhyana is the contemplation or meditation. Samadhya means the goal of yoga or the enlightenment. Asta means eight. Angini means limbs. This Ashtanga Yoga has been divided into three stages. Which are those three stages? One is the preparatory stage, the second one is the practicing stage, and the third one is stage of meditation. So when we talk about the preparatory stage, so it purely tells the base of yoga, that is the Yama and Niyama. So coming for the practicing stage, so it is comprises regarding the asana, pranayama, pratyahara, dharana. Okay, so coming for the stage of meditation, it clearly tells about the connecting link between the inner stage of Ashtanga Yoga, that is the dharana, dhyana and samadhi. So these eight stages have been divided into three sadhanas. The first one is the Bahiranga Sadhana, the second one is the Antar Bahiranga Sadhana and the third one is the Antaranga Sadhana. So which are the Bahiranga Sadhanas basically, which is also called as the Karma Yoga. So the Bahiranga Sadhanas are Yama, Niyama, Asana and Pranayama. Whatever the practice you are going to do, that will be able, the people can able to see you what you are doing. So, it tells that it is the Chitta and Vritti, okay. So, the Bahiranga Sadhanas are Yama, Niyama, Asana, Pranayama. So, whatever you are doing externally, the people can see you, the changes and what you are doing and they can see the changes. The next one is the Antar Bahiranga Sadhana. So, that is the Jnana Yoga. So, which tells about the Pratyahara and Dharana. So, the Pratyahara and Dharana, which is a bridge between the Bahiranga Sadhana and the Antaranga Sadhana. So, you are doing the practice of something, but the people can be able to see you or they can not be able to assess what you are doing. The Antaranga Sadhana is basically the Dharana, Dhyana and Samadhi. So, dhana, dhyana and samadhi is the inner that is called as the bhakti yoga which leads to the spiritual uh, performance. So, whatever you are doing that is you are able to practice inner view that is the antaranga that is inner view you can practice it. So, it clearly tells that the ashtanga yoga the conclusion of this the introductionary part of the Ashtanga Yoga is basically the eightfold paths which will lead your life into proper lifestyle. Okay, so which are those eight parts? That is the Yama, Niyama, Asana, Pranayama, Pratyahara, Dharana, Dhyana and Samadhi. So students, we have seen the introductionary part of the Ashtanga Yoga. So, uh, today we are going to end up this session with this Ashtanga Yoga introductionary part. So in the next in the next session we are going to see about the Yama and Niyama. So which is the moral code of conduct and also the uh, self code of conduct we will be seeing. Thank you students.